Welcome to another episode of Saturday Selections with Punting Pedo. Oh gee, I tell you what, I'm fired up for the races this Saturday. Blue Diamond Stakes Day at Caulfield. It is going to be cracking jack, I tell you what. And I'm going to be their racing biggest fan, Marquee. Oh, with ten of my mates, Casey and Gassy will be there too. I tell you what, I'm fired up. And first off, I'm going to kick us off with the winner in race day, number two, Hard of Dreams. I tip this fella quite a bit over his career. Let's face it, he really runs a bad race. I reckon he's come back better than ever this, this time. His one last start to come second behind Typhoon Tracy with Cracker Jack. Oliver has a great record on this bloke in his three wins from five starts, third up. Yes! And this week, Pato's Papa is in race six, number 15, Verena Miss. She's a real British bulldog, this one. She often looks gone in her races, but always rallies to fight out the finish. Five starts, three wins, Two placings, gee, this is definitely her toughest test, but she has the will to win this girl. $26 is available, and that's the sort of price I like. And now it's time, Support of Glory! Support of Glory, what is your tip? Can you tip us a winner or two? Thank you, Dartboard, my Dartboard of Glory. Oh, <laughs> I tell you what, <laughs> I reckon I'll take the Dartboard with me on Saturday to the races. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> oh, yeah, that will be cracking Jack. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. But now it's time for our favourite Queenslander, Kay. He's a good bloke, he's a Queensland, and his name is Keith, oh yes! G'day Pato, how are you boys? Yeah, we're off to the Heath on Saturday, and it's a Cracker Jack Day's racing too. And uh, first of all, I'm going to kick us off in the Oakley Plate with Undeniably. Look, this horse resumed with a nice win at Mooney Valley, and then second up went straight to the Australia Stakes at Wait for Age, where it got run down late by Whitefriars. The horse that ran third in that race was Typhoon Tracy. She's since come out and won the Group 1 CF4 stakes. The diplomatic force also ran in that race. He came out and won last Saturday at Flemington. And as we know, the form through White Prize goes back to horses like Beated, who bolted in last start as well. So the form was really good through that race. He drops five kilos from the weight for age. Drawn three alley for Corey Brown on half a kilo over the minimum here. Uh, pretty keen. This in what will shape as a good betting race. The other one that I like is up in Brisbane in race 7, a horse by the name of Essington, an ex-Lord Williams horse this. Uh, resumed the other day for Hanson. Chrissy Muffs rode it, it bolted in, ran time. Goes second up here in a lot stronger grade, but gets in on the minimum. Chrissy Muffs sticks off a good alley. Very keen on this one, boys. Alright, I'll see you Saturday. Oh, 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 oh. oh gee, he never lets us down, does he? Oh, he's a good bloke, isn't he? Oh, congratulations, Mr. Sun. Oh, he's a dear, cute little one. Oh, well done, mate. Well done, mate. <laughs> Looking forward to catching up on Saturday too, mate. <laughs> and now it's time. Get me! It's time to catch these sick fans on the Ponzi Panto Show. It's time to catch these sick fans on the Ponzi Panto Show. G'day folks, how are we? Well, Black Caviar, how impressive can you be? Didn't get out of second gear for mine, and that's the easiest 20 grand Lukey Nolan and Urban Make. I'll give you the big tip. Listen, uh, I'm going a little bit left field this week. It's a, it's a ripper weekend of racing, and uh, my first tip comes up to a core field spacecraft in the St. George. Look, I think this is a nice each way bet at about $7. Pretty good return, only got beaten the length first up, was reasonable sort of return. Second up, running the, you know, or wasn't exactly the easiest task. It's only been beaten three and a half lengths, and I reckon that's not too bad, as a little third up. I think the boss man can have it somewhere in the finish. Uh, I've got a little bit left field here. 
Ascot Race 6, number 3, Laura Dane. I've been following this thing, Jade's been drawing just horrible. Come on, let's go, come on. Car park, car park, car park. 15 and 16 was last two, it's been racing in the best company. It's drawn 9 this time, and you know, if Clint Harvey can get it across and slot it in somewhere, this thing's got a just. It's, an, it's got an ability, this thing. It's really good. You watch its last two replays and, you know, it's just stuck on and stuck on and stuck on. Very impressive. Alright, folks, well, good luck on the weekend. I'll be uh, cheering from Caulfield for the first time in a long time. And uh, I'll be back for you, winners. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I'm oh, looking forward to going to the races with Cassie as well. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Cracking Jack. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I hope you have a great weekend and happy punting. Yeah.